Hi everybody! I'm Nathan Chan from Proud Fertility. Happy Mother's Day. Do you have a message to say to all the women out there too? Hi! Happy Mother's Day! So, um, we are here with a proud intended father with his pride and joy here. Oh. Um, we will call her baby M. Yeah, she's three weeks old now. Three weeks old on yeah. Mother's Day! Yeah. So, so, the reason why I pulled you onto Facebook Live, thank you so much for doing that, is that I want to actually ask you for some of your experiences that we can share with others out there if you're watching on Sunday. So, mm -hmm. hi, whoever is just joining us. So, the first thing is, um, what is your experience like? Or do you live in the same city as your gestational surrogate? No, we actually live on like three hours time zone apart. So Time zone, not just three hours away. Yeah, but like time zone. On the other side of the country, right? Yeah, okay. but um, it's not too bad, I think. Since the day we were matched, it's been a organic growth in the relationship between her family and your family, um, my family, and she's just great. She loves uh, sharing her stories, her family with us, and we mm -hmm. do the same with her, telling her a little bit about our lives, um, and the. Relationship just really grew from there. It's not like we're texting each other every day. And it's okay to text every day sometimes. It's also okay to text every yeah. day. There are days where we text more, and then there are days maybe we're on vacation that we text less. Okay. So, so texting is a way that you've communicated with your yeah, surrogate. And we also make a point to at least Skype every two weeks. Okay. So um, that worked for you. Yeah. Okay. So it's good to see her and her family and for her to see us. Mm -hmm. Because it's not just like you're just, it's not like we're in a different country where you just, you just get somebody yeah. to do this for you and then she's just off on her own. Like yeah. she's really an important part of and your life. And we share pictures like what we eat, what we're making for dinner. Well, I've seen some of those chats so, for you guys. So yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Well, um, what is the hardest part? about um, this whole journey, really, even though yours has been pretty Yeah, textbook. ours have been pretty smooth sailing. Um, the hardest part would be kind of the waiting, but again, we are very, very fortunate. Um, our surrogate really had no mm -hmm. any issues at all. There were some medical kind of thingies that popped up along mm -hmm. the way, but our surrogate was just very kind in terms of kind of keeping us as IPs very calm as well. Mm -hmm. And she takes pains to make sure that uh, she relays all the information and we can't thank her enough for exactly. that. Exactly. And the thing is, like, that's another big part of your journey. Perhaps mm -hmm. that's the thing that we like to do at Proud Fertility is that I really made sure there was enough support for you. Our mm -hmm. team has made sure that it's been there for you to have different types of support because you can never be too ready for mm -hmm. anything that can happen. And yeah. anything can happen in a surrogacy journey and everything can happen perfectly like your journey as well yeah. too. Okay, um, you know, so you live on one end of the country. Well, mm -hmm. let's just say east side of, um, actually you're even not even in Canada. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then so your surrogate's on the other side of Canada. So did you ever get to visit the surrogate? Did you meet the surrogate? Yeah. Before you came and got baby yeah. M? So we actually visited, uh, we went to where she lived uh, the first time Actually, right after her transfer. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's yeah. right. I remember that. So, so that was really nice. It was right in the middle of summer. Uh, it's a really pretty town. And we got to hang out for at least four days. Uh, got to meet her family. And we mm -hmm. did things together. Uh, went to amusement park with mm -hmm. her children. So it was great. Um, and then we also went back for the um 20 week ultrasound mm -hmm. and that's you found out when well i guess you're yeah, yeah well, we i think we get to know about the gender it's, it's and then we spent a couple of days there as well and it's good to at least bond for a few more days and we saw her belly and we felt the kicks right yeah exactly, exactly. so so that's a great way to just tell like, some people um may not be have those resources and it might not work for everybody so you got to see her um, in the beginning, the mm -hmm. middle, and then now, of course, spending some more time yeah. with her as well, too. And, and that's even, really great. Thank you so much for investing in that. Yeah, it's a relationship. even before and during kind of labor, we spend time together as well. And I think that part is also really important for us. And also, it was important for mm -hmm. our surrogate. Last bit. What's your, like, word of advice or wisdom that you've learned? Like, if there's something you can tell an intent parent out there... And also surrogate, but let's start with 
what's what's something that you would love to tell intended parents out there? Whether they're on a journey now, or whether they're about to start a journey, or whether they want to yeah. think about it, like, what would I you like, tell them? The journey definitely could be scary at the beginning, and there are a lot of uncertainties. All there of could be things that fail, um, but you just have to kind of trust that because your surrogate is so generous to have kind of started this journey with you, that you should be kind and patient with everything that is going on. It's not going to be kind of a done deal within like mm -hmm. a few months or one, even one year, but you just have to have the level of patience. Patience. Right. And be kind. This is only the beginning. You have another like 18, 20 years after the baby is born. So mm -hmm. you need to learn that. Yeah. I think I've been connecting with some other intended parents in the last little bit. They just have been saying being kind being trusting like you just kind of talked about that was one of the things that you just talked about just being grateful right yeah exactly yeah and happy mother's day to happy mother's day our story thank you every mother herself we there. should make sure we can see we can yeah. do you have a special trick now in action no we just she just loves sleeping right now yeah this is her sleeping hour so that's why she's not just... let's just zoom in say hi say hi wake up yeah. Open your eyes. no it's no. her no afternoon nap now. Well, actually, we have something right for you. Right. It's a really colorful little dream catcher. Do you know what dream catchers are for? It's no. It's actually... Tell me. Okay, well, first of all, you were holding it earlier like this. Mm -hmm. It's not a mobile. Okay. Um, you kind of hold it like this. You can put it over the crib, if you have a crib, or you can put it on the wall, and it's just, it's, it's part of our culture okay. in Canada, and it's just to give um, baby M mm -hmm. some great dreams, and... Awesome. Yeah, it's lots of really colorful things for you as well, too. So, that's a bit of Canada for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very proud. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Nathan, too. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Bye, everybody. Bye.